In today's tutorial, we will be looking at how to create a table in Word step by step. The first thing you need to do is if you have Microsoft Word downloaded on your laptop, all you have to do is double click on it. Over here, we will go ahead and select blank document. So you double click to select blank document and we maximize it to have a better view. So this is how Microsoft Word looks like. And over here, you can use this to zoom in and zoom out. You can use this to zoom in and zoom out. Okay. So you can do that to have a better view of what you are doing. Now, now that you are in Microsoft Word, this is what you are going to work on. You navigate your mouse to insert, navigate your mouse to table, make sure that you look for table and click on it. So this is where you get to select a number of rows and columns that you want. And in case you want to customize this, you're going to click on insert table and then you select the number of columns that you want. So I can go ahead and say I want six columns and 20 rows, 20 rows, and then I say, okay. So this is how my table is going to look like. And over here, there is the table design. So the moment you insert a table, you're going to have options like table design and table layout. First of all, let's take a look at table design. Table design is how you want your table to appear. So basically the appearance of your table. There are a couple of options here that you can explore. We have this, that, and that, and that, and that. You can select any design based on your preference. Let's go with this. Okay. And you're going to leave everything under this. You're going to leave it the way it is. If this box is not checked, make sure you check it. The header row and then the first column and the banded rows as well. Over here in table layout, it's everything about your table. Let's take a look at how you can increase the width and the height of your table. In case you want to increase the width of your table, you just have to navigate your mouse to this option that says width and you use the arrow to increase the width of your table. You can, when you press on this, it selects the entire table. And in case you want to shift the table to this side, you can do that. After adjusting the width of your table, you can adjust the height too as well. So when you increase the height, when you increase the height for each table, so you're going to select the entire table, then you increase the height for the table. So you see that as you increase the height, it's it's actually, the effect is actually taking place. But in case you want to decrease, make sure that you select the table. And this is how you select the table. You select it from here, click this option, select the table and you decrease the height of the table. After successfully adjusting the height and weight of the table, you're going to look at how you can add a row or a column. Now, in order to add a row, if you want to add a row at the last end of your table, you make sure that your cursor or your mouse is, is inside the table. Then you come to this option which says insect below. When you click on insert below, it's going to add an additional row below. But when you click on insert above, it's going to add one above. So depending on how you want it, it's going to be done for you. you you can also see the arrow pointing up and this arrow is pointing down okay so when you come over here you can insert a column to your right and to your left okay make sure that you select the portion that you want and you click on insert right and it's going to be added for you i'm going to undo that and insert left to have a better overview so this is the the column that will be inserted for you in case you want to delete it you are going to go to delete and we say delete column and it will be deleted for you as well now in case you want to perform calculations in your table the easier way to go about it is select formula make sure that your cursor is beneath the numbers and you select formula and over here we have some you can select some if you want and the number format you're going to leave it as it is and you select okay when you say okay it's going to add up all these numbers for you and sum it up for you but in case you want you don't want some but you want like average count if if you know all this formulas in Excel, you can apply them here in Microsoft Word and it's going to work for you. So you can give that a try. This is how you go about creating a table in Microsoft Word. If you are looking to learn more, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.